Hello, hello there. So, um, sorry for the video quality. I'm just trying to record a very quick intro to what I'll be doing in this video at a very high speed. It's more than three hours of me studying in different breaks. Uh, it's not even studying, but it's how I'm preparing for my next exam. So, uh, the first time I'm really, really used Supermemo hard for an exam, I did incremental reading and incremental video, basically. It worked out quite well, but it wasn't that efficient and I was really hard pressed toward the end to get that very important knowledge inside my head. Like the image I had in my head was very fuzzy, so I didn't have a very clear image of what I had to study and what was required uh, for me to know. Right now I'm employing a very different process. Um, sorry right after i employed a very different process and i started importing only questions from the exam okay so instead of incremental reading stuff that i didn't know the application for because you have to remember when you study with super memo the most important thing is that the knowledge must be applicable so if the knowledge is too theoretical you're studying for nothing so every type of knowledge even if the application isn't directly like um, even if it's philosophy like what are you getting out of that philosophy book like think of like usability like how am i gonna use this uh what's this sprouting inside my mind is something blossoming from this piece of knowledge or is it sterile and if it is why do i need this in my collection I'm not saying just only study engineering, but like I'm a man of um, literature myself, but you need to anchor that knowledge to something, otherwise it's useless. Knowing random facts that you can't connect with other things, absolutely useless. The same goes for studying for exams. So what I realized was that instead of incremental reading notes and books i would do something like much uh, easier and useful so i started putting the questions uh, gathered from the exams uh, it was oral examinations okay about the um, uh, physical examination of a patient for medicine so i started gathering these questions and if this exam is well structured those questions uh, will give you the right knowledge that you actually need in the clinical world unless the exam is not well structured in that case uh, I don't know you figure it out just pass the exams and then study what you really need so um, I put every question and under each question I was reverse engineering the question okay but I was doing that in a very linear way instead of doing incrementally because even though I told myself yeah I will do this incrementally I really didn't because my collection was a little bit messy I have a lot a lot of elements in my collection now there are nearly 10,000 in four months so that's a lot and what I did was just go through each questions linearly so use super memo for the flashcard part but not incremental reading or not using the real incremental functions of super memo and it was really frustrating I was like, this is not working. Like this is, this is a, just a step above uh, normal studying. So what am I gonna do for my next exam? Like I have the next exam in 19 days. So how am I gonna tackle that? Like it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of material. Even incrementally, I cannot read all the notes and all the book. It's too much. So what? Mm, I started importing questions, but I had a different idea. I knew that I wouldn't probably using the incremental function. I'm quite sure about that, like pretty sure. So I was like, what can I do? Like, how can I um, like use, utilize all the power behind Super Memo? So one of our most powerful tools is neural review. What is neural review? Neural review is, um, 
reviewing stuff based not on your outstanding queue, it will not follow your outstanding queue. You click on the element you want to start from and you will start from all the stuff that's most closely, closely linked to that element. So the siblings or the children of that element. And then you can uh, link element, elements and concepts to that, to every single uh, card element or whatever and form like a net, okay, like a neural net. And from that you will review stuff based on those links. So it's like in machine learning, it's, it's a similar process. And I will show you how I'm doing this and explain through the video why I think that this is way more useful than just going linearly or incrementally. So now we're seeing me going through a lot of stuff very quickly. What I'm doing is importing every set of notes that I have um, under the right element. So let's say I have um, a diagnosis, a uh, laboratory diagnosis about rheumatoid arthritis. How do I go about that? So I look on my Google Drive, we have this huge set of notes, uh, like a huge repository of uh, transcript transcripts from all the lessons of pretty much five years from now. Of all these questions, uh, of all these material, I import the one from the lessons of the course I'm following and see like, did I already import this kind of, uh, this set of notes? And if I didn't, did I take a set of notes maybe from another year that was pretty much the same thing? And if I did, I'm not importing another one unless it has different information. What I'm doing instead is creating links. So um, look, please look closely at the um, display because I'm going very, very fast through stuff. The things that you can see, um, like on the knowledge tree, you will notice that some of this stuff do not have children. If they do not have children, it's because I'm using control uh, space, opening the commander and linking the element, the topic that I have already imported about that because I will have multiple questions on a set of notes and there is no use of importing these notes more than once. I also use Wikipedia as you just saw for the malt lymphoma and for all these questions um, that I have already imported the material for, just create a link. In a more like in an ideal setting, I would also be creating concept links if this were to be made much better. Um, we'll see that maybe in the following episodes. I'll, I'll think of doing something like that, maybe for more like big, for bigger exams. Um, but right now, let's focus on what I'm doing. So. I continue creating all these links, all this stuff, and at some point I will start neuro reviewing individual questions. So instead of going incrementally, I will, by the way, I will go incrementally about it, obviously, that's how it works. But instead of following my outstanding queue for this part of medicine, I will be doing something very different. I will meet that stuff when I feel like it's time to study that stuff and I can't, I will not be doing much interleaved practice as I would like. At least not for the topics and not for the, and, and answering the questions because it's like uh, solving an investigation case. So I go from one question, I take that question and I look for the material that I've already imported in my collection to see and to, found, to find the answer to that so that I know what the answer is and convert the answer into flashcards, closes and explicit questions, okay? 
So what's the difference? Because one would say, what's the difference between doing this linearly and doing this um, as you're doing? Or maybe doing it incrementally. I mean, you can do the interleaved practice with items. I do not recommend doing it with topics because it's a very logical process. You need to be very well aware of where you're putting your hands. If you start putting random elements in between, you will lose the tray of like hints that you're following to capture your criminal and to get the most out of your answer. End question. So that's why I wouldn't do that incrementally. I would do maybe if you extract uh, a very specific part that contains the answer and you say, okay, I will just leave this for my outstanding queue, that's fine. But otherwise, I would recommend just using Neural Review to go through the stuff. I will link the Neural Creativity article um, in the description. That's on the only thing you need to start your Neural Review and to know what I'm talking about in detail. So um, I will be served all these elements based on the links I'm creating and the like siblings and stuff. The most important things to know is that if I did that linearly, I would be subject to burnout very easily because as soon as I'm getting tired, the efficiency would drop and there is no better guidance system to do this stuff than distraction. So as soon as I get distracted, I like I can jump out of the neural review, maybe do my outstanding queue, and as soon as I find another element linked to the questions, I go to neural review from that. Or I can do that manually. There are many ways of doing this. Do not ever get stuck on just one method just because you think, oh, that's how Superman works. So remember works how you want to make it work. So keep this in mind. And going linearly wouldn't be effective as much, again, because of attention, because it wouldn't be really incremental. Like neural review, you know, in the way I'm describing it, I'm not saying meet something and it, like in that moment get everything, like extract the part of the answer, make the closes, make the questions. No, the process can still be done incrementally, but you will be manipulating your outstanding queue a little bit instead of following it blindly or even just manually selecting the things that you want to review. So it will still be incremental because it's still inside Super Memo and you still do not need to do everything in one take. But it will be less uh, like confusing than usual. Not confusing, like I don't think that Super Memo is confusing, but less, there's less dispersion, okay? So it's more focused. It's a very more well focused way of tackling stuff. And always go for the questions. Like mm, my biggest error when I started using Super Memo was believing that I could memorize entire books. No, you can't do that in the traditional studying and you cannot do that in Super Memo. Uh, you, will re you will probably remember a lot more in Super Memo, but still cannot do that. The best way is always to reverse engineer your exams, pray to God that your professor are not idiots, and then you will have the knowledge that will serve you in your profession. If not, you will just have to reverse engineer that too. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. So I'm actually taking from everywhere. I also took from slides, uh, old quizzes you can see on my screen. And all of this is, is, a, is, a, is a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but it's an investment. I put like, let's say three to four days into doing this, but then the time I will take to answer will be minimal. Because I will jump, I will still use interleaved practice, incrementalism, super memo and flashcards. So I will have a much clearer picture um, than people going into that linearly. Because if you go into that linearly, 
Sometimes you burn out, it's not efficient, and you get stuck. With this, you never get stuck. So, let me say it's been a pleasure, and see you in the next video. Thank you.